We know these fans are, they're just surf fans. They yeah. love it. They love every second of it. So we know it's going to be loud. That's one fact we know. The unproven element here is who will take this final. Felipe Toledo versus Wade Carmichael, a rookie in his first ever finals berth. He's going against a, a competitor who has built momentum throughout this entire contest. And we don't think we've seen the peak yet of Felipe Toledo. Maybe put him out of a little bit of uh, position right there. Looks like Toledo is going to draw first blood. Here he goes. Toledo. Oh. Late drop. Too late. And for one of the first times, Toledo starts his heat with a big mistake. And you know, I don't think that wave had a lot broke his board down the line, but now that is considered a massive blunt. No restart. We did see Toledo's hands leave his rail. Here we go, Toledo right back at it. We'll see how this board does under his feet. Big snap. Start us off a whipping power hook for Toledo. Those sharp eye surfboards look like razor blades slicing through these waves here. And that's the reaction we wanted to see from Toledo. From the horse. You know, it took a sort of a mediocre inside wave and then just leashed the beast right there. Just a beautiful wrapping snap and kicks on out. So just getting that mistake out of his mind. Wade Carmichael now, big sets coming through, needs to start with a bang confidence-wise and, and, and apply a bit of pressure on Felipe. Make Felipe think he's got to go harder than he normally does. Here we go. First look at Wade Carmichael on one of the bigger sets we've seen of the afternoon, trying to get around this meaty section. Nothing on offer on a big starting wave for Wade Carmichael. It looked like it had the potential to grind down the line, but it was a, I wouldn't say misread because the wave just didn't perk up for him where he wanted. And for that thing to stand up and lurch onto the bank and then and, and give him that tube ride. Here we go, Toledo. In rapid fire succession, Toledo right back out and into the tube. Standing tall, gaining speed, driving down the line. He's hunting the ramp. Toledo catches an edge before he gets the opportunity. So a rare mistake as he's pumping down the line. You saw the fins <laughs> disengage. We we're all expecting a huge error from Toledo. But uh, right there, just that little bit of a bobble could be the difference between glory and defeat. Eat as you'd like, but, you know, you can tell he's just looking for something special every time he takes off. Co nice little cover up there from Toledo. Now the foot's sort of wide. Now the stance widens as well. So he races down the line. It's a little bit off balance right there. And he realizes that it was an opportunity to go on begging, but kicks on out. But a nice little uh, tube ride. I don't think that's really going to factor in by the end of the seat, but he's making his tensions, intentions very clear on what he's going to be doing. He is uh, one of the longer, you know, telegraphs. Mm. Uh, of any surfers uh, on the championship tour, you see exactly what he's about to do. To see the rookies uh, mixing it up with the world's best here in the final. Toledo. Toledo finding a wedge on the inside. This could be more like it for Toledo fans. Drives off the bottom. In the tube. Driving through, oh! and he comes out after the spin. Felipe Toledo gets the crowd on their feet for good reason. An incredible tube ride from Toledo. Wow. That was probably one of the best tube rides we've seen this entire event. Further down the line, too. You know, he wasn't all the way back up on the peak where Wade Carmichael was. Look at the crowd. The crowd. We're with you, sir. Losing How did that it just right now. Potentially, you know, feeling frustrated from the beginning of this heat with what could be a score in that excellent, if not perfect, range. Yeah, oh my goodness. I mean, look, you could see he knew something was going to happen. Now he drives through the section. I mean, that was about as deep as you could humanly get and then sneaks out the end, covered up again and comes out. What a tube ride from Felipe Toledo. I mean, this guy's good in the air. He's good on the face of the wave, but he has proved to the world right now that he is one of the best tube riders as well. There was mass flying out of that. That was incredible. So a 9-9-3 for Toledo. Now he's at it again, just as we expected. Toledo now, he is unleashed, unchained, ready to do damage. And uh, you see the coil up with Toledo prepared for something huge. Now Carmichael, late drop, gets around the section, cracks it up into the lip. Now he gets the lip, snap, barrel combo, but again, not as crazy of a wave, not as radical as a barrel. Um, I did like the intent with that first turn to try yeah. to follow it up with the two. But uh, he's going to have to draw, drop excellent scores from here on out if he wants a chance to catch Talit. And uh, put some scores on the board. Get how sure he is Beautiful on Beautiful snap, yeah. That was cool. Uh, that was cool, huh? That, like, free fall drop to snap and a little cover-up. So look at that. Complete control there. Waiting for it. Perfect timing. Nice little snap to tube combo. As I said, it's not going to be a huge score. Choice there, that, that section caving in. 
And here is the opportunity for Wade Carmichael. Drops in down the line, and that wave closing out. So uh, no harm, no foul due to you know the priority positioning there for yep. Wade Carmichael sitting in second priority. Good move that Wade can get himself on a good way, get a little barrel, come out, do a couple of big turns, get out of it, and get back into the lineup. I mean, he's got a shot for sure. So in second priority, Wade Carmichael gets the nod. Uh, in this case, Toledo allowed him to go on that wave, and that's uh, what the surfer can do when they do hold the priority card. They can really, you know, give or take waves yep. from their competitor. That wave didn't necessarily turn out the way Wade Carmichael wanted it, but in the eyes of Toledo, that's exactly what he wanted to see happen. Carmichael, yes, he's in a combo situation, but very easily get himself out of that. And here the oohs and ahs from the crowd as Toledo now taking off under the lip and very quickly it's uh, launched out of that tube and straight into uh, oblivion. Just to get himself out of that combo, just for his own confidence and, uh, and try and apply a bit more pressure on Toledo, but at the moment it's uh, all Toledo. Oh no, this is to be expected again. Toledo now whipping around halfway out, building speed down the line. And he has a way of making you want to just hold your breath <laughs> as he pumps down the line and you yeah. see his eyes fully focused on whatever section is going to give him the best chance at blasting a big air. Didn't get it there, but he makes it exciting every time he stands up. It's over 150 yards away from the actual takeoff spot, but the waves are absolutely incredible down here on the end. So let me tell you, right now, Philly on his own down here. Watch him go. Slices off the top, off the bottom, into the lip. He's applying more pressure with more points right now at this point. Thanks, Strider. So with 9.30 to go, Toledo. Trying to wipe off that 3.67. Two big turns there. As in, hey, there's a weak link right here. Toledo, let's see what he's got. Beautiful opening maneuver. Watch this turn here. It's almost like a double pump off that lip. So he hits it and then projects a bit to get it, get him some, some release off those fins. Bang, beautiful snap. And then right here, bang, and then flicks it off the lip there. So incredible stuff from Felipe Toledo. And as we see Carmichael with priority. Here we go. Have any good look at this one. But Toledo down the line, finds the tube. Will he get the exit? Magically escaping <laughs> a cyclone that was heaving in on him. Toledo, he's done it again. It was a smaller wave, but uh, no, no less of a technical tube ride for Toledo. And that wave looked like it, it was his friend. Let him out. It just breathed for him as he tried to get that exit, and he comes out clean. 100% strike rate. Listen to this crowd as yeah. well. They are going wild. Yeah, Toledo, look at this. Just driving through that tube ride. It opens up again, as you said. Sort of almost breathed him out of the barrel. And, uh, well, that's Toledo for you. He's making it all happen here in the finals. A 5.33 at the moment is his backup score. Is he going to bet it again on Wade Carmichael, who... Took off on the same way, but further up the point, things are just not going Wade Carmichael's way. Well, the numbers tell us, you know, Toledo, by staying busy, has found himself an incredible rhythm, and he's at it again. In the tube, on the takeoff, could have the exit up into the air, but back foot flies off. Uh, and again, Toledo now on his 10th wave ridden, throwing out fives, he's throwing out, you know, high threes. Yep. And uh, here he goes again, throwing out another 3-5-3. Three, three. Yeah, I mean, that was uh, just freestyling right there for the crowd. This is all about the Toledo show. What can he do to finish? 2.15 to go. This is Carmichael now stalling. It's a nice tube ride. It was quick. Smashes the lip. A little tentative. We haven't seen a tentative turn from Carmichael yet. And this is no time to be tentative on your turns. Uh, he didn't make one wave in his final. Uh, he didn't get one wave over two points. So things can happen. Even to the best in the world, Wade Carmichael stalling, getting nice and tall. As uh, this heat starts to wind down, you can almost feel the crowd kind of know that the writing is on the wall, but Wade Carmichael still fighting, still trying to get himself back into this heat with one minute and 25 seconds to go. Even Wade's, uh, you know, 75% turns are incredible. Yeah. And now the boys show a bit of respect uh, for each other. But Felipe Toledo, he was always going to be hard to beat, wasn't he? There you see it. Destiny. Felipe Toledo now basking in the golden glow of victory. We have a champion, folks. The OI Rio Pro goes to Felipe Toledo. He's been practicing at this peak since day one, like he had some un unknown knowledge as to how this entire event was going to unfold. Dominating performances, had one near miss, but uh, you could tell. He gained from that. He made it all count. It all came together for Felipe Toledo. You know, 
he hit the golf ball into the woods, it hit a tree, bounced back out in the middle of the fairway, he went under birdie the hole and take this thing out and that's what you've got to do. When you dodge a bullet, when you have those close hits, capitalise on it, take advantage of it, that's exactly what he's done. Uh, he's been the standout through each round, the only 10 point ride of this event and then drops a 9.93, a near perfect wave here in the final. He was always going to be hard to beat in front of the crowd here in Brazil but you know, in waves like this he's uh, just proved to the world that he's one of the best.